A new special on Discovery's Destination America includes first-hand accounts of catastrophe. It's called Sinkholes Swallowed Alive. The tiles on the roof are starting to come off. Glass is popping out of the windows. The landing towards the elevator is buckling, so we took a left. We went towards the stairs. Adrenaline's going. We're screaming at everybody in the building at the top of our lungs to get out. Something's going on. It almost seemed as though the building was just imploding, turning, as if it was in a vortex, as though it was being consumed in quicksand. It was so surreal. Sinkholes are often hidden from sight until the Earth really just suddenly slips away. The program features Drew Glassbrenner. He's a geologist. Also with us, CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku. He's a physics professor at the City College of New York City. Welcome, welcome. Guys, I watched this thing, and I was scared to get up from my desk and move. Because what, what I learned watching it is that it takes a while to build, but once the sinkhole builds, it happens very quickly. That's right. The, uh, the limestone that causes most sinkholes takes thousands of years to dissolve. But by the time it reaches the surface, uh, it happens quickly, within minutes or hours. And Florida was described as ground zero. Why? Well, there are thousands of sinkholes waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. And Florida, almost the entire state, is based on top of limestone, which is porous and will dissolve in the presence of groundwater over a period of time. 20% of the United States is actually susceptible to sinkholes. So if you're thinking about buying Florida real estate, yeah. you may want to watch this program. Yeah. Drew, you pointed yes. out we saw in that uh, video this condo near Disney that collapsed so quickly. Very, very scary. You you're say they're, they're lucky to be alive. What are some of the warning signs? Some of the warning signs are doors and windows that won't open or jam, cracks and walls that develop. Uh, popping sounds and along the outside of the house sometimes you'll see uh, leaning trees, fence posts, tension cracks in the soil. So you could tell if you're at risk or your house is at risk. It, sometimes there are, are very loud warning signs. Mm -hmm. But what was scary is the program said it could happen anywhere. That's what was so frightening to me. That's right and it's going to get worse because mm -hmm. of overpopulation, over irrigation, populations moving into areas that were once farmland. This problem is going to get worse rather than better, especially as baby boomers retire to vacation areas and go to places <laughs> like Florida, Texas, yeah. Oklahoma. So, so, so what do you do if you have a home and you worry about a sinkhole? Well, get an engineer's report and get a geologist. There are ways of looking underneath the ground. Radar, seismic data, looking at resistivity. There are ways of peering right underneath your feet. Are Capricorns more at risk? <laughs> <laughs> the running joke, sorry. But, but the report can show you, though. You can really get the report, and you can fortify the ground, can you right. not? It's, it's, it's an expensive test, but it's worth it. Well, you love this documentary, didn't you? I, I really, <laughs> <laughs> yes, there goes my Florida home that I was trying, saving up for. But there is something that you can do. But it was Hawaii. You can, you can do tests to see if, if you have a problem. And then if you do have a problem, there are repair methods to address it. You can, you can grout, uh, you can put pins under the house, depending on the situation. And that would be something for an engineer uh, to decide. All right. All right. Thank you.